Okay, guys. All right. Kids teaching kids. Episode 8. Take 4. Hello. Hello again and welcome to another edition of COVID Kids Community Kids Teaching Kids with your hosts Arlen and Madeline. Today we're going to be doing Simply Sunday Sundays. Show us what we're going to be doing guys. I'm going to be doing soft ice cream, vanilla and chocolate. A twist? Yes, a twist. Very nice. With the waffle cone. Yum. And Madeline? And I'm going to be doing uh, some ice cream with the waffle cone. All right. And a cherry on top. And a cherry and on cherry top on to top. boot. The cherry on top today is going to be getting through the stream in one piece. <laughs> All right. I'll hand it over to Deb to go to Arlen and the art table. All right. So today we're going to be doing drawing instead of painting. Arlen, show us what we're going to need. Pencil crayons. Um... Felt markers don't work that well. Okay. Um, just saying. Pencil crayons or crayons. I I total I would totally use crayons, but I have these really nice pencil crayons, and I'm of course gonna use them. Alright. Okay, to start you're gonna need this pencil and eraser. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna make a very, very big cone. Like really, really big cone. And the lines can cross, and it's actually good, because then you're actually making it straight. It's actually working now, guys. Yeah, that's good. Just make it just like that. Okay. Erase so the bottom. I noticed that you, you went sort of over, and then you erase it. So that's the yeah. technique to get a perfectly pointy cone? Yeah, basically. Okay, so... That's what we've done so far. Do a curve, then do just a straight line down. And we're gonna make it slightly bumpy to make it like that waffle cone that goes down. And then we're gonna connect them just like that. Okay. Now we're gonna do the ice cream. Ice cream's harder, but like challenges are in every drawing. So mm -hmm. What we're going to do, just follow the rigid lines on either of these. Probably this one because it's still, I'm not drawing it. But, yeah. So, just try and get the best view as possible. Just, yeah. All right. And a big welcome to Rosie, who just joined in, and Alana and Mike. Thanks so much for tuning in today on this rainy Sunday. We're doing ice cream Sundays to celebrate. So if you're just joining, grab your pencil crayons and a pencil, and we're doing a waffle cone. Okay, and then the curve. Nice. Okay. And I'm just going to make a bump at the end. And then another little bump. And then some more rigid lines. And then we're going to make a bump in and out. And then this is where we're going to connect it all with a scoop. Okay. And you've right. done your ice cream, like right. outline So your ice cream outline should look like this, and eventually it's going to look like that. So we have four layers. Um, if you were there in the last one, you, were, you probably saw. So we're going to... Kind of connect them like that. Connect the other one. And then we'll just leave that so one. So this is later. part of the twist of our ice cream. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take my brown and my light brown. So this is a really dark brown, as you can see. So not a light brown, not a dark brown, a really dark brown. And if you have this sort of, I'm not sure what to call it, beige kind of brown kind of color, you need to use that, like, please. And for the white, we're just, you'll, we'll just use gray or pencil. I use both, but. Okay, so we're, we're actually just going to leave those two to the side because we need them in the next step. But first we need to take our pencil again and just kind of, Mark where we really want our lines for the twist. You 
you can put them wherever you want. Well, and Dan, Dan and, and family are with us today as well. Hope you guys are having fun. Welcome, Ayumi and Miyuki. So great to have you with us. And hello, Dan and Sarah. Thanks so much for joining, joining in on this rainy Sunday. We're drawing ice cream sundaes. And that's... So now we've done our two layers. And now we're just going to do the top layer. So then again, just like that. And then... Whoop, just like that. Okay. You really want to like that. Okay, so we're done where we've actually like put the ice cream like lines and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now we actually take our um, dark brown and we're just gonna make it along one line. And it doesn't look like much, but it is gonna be a lot. Make a big strip because that's what we want. And some at the top. And then now we're going to take our light brown and put it in the middle. And we don't want too much chocolate because it's a vanilla chocolate, so we don't want too much of that. I think that's good. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to take, oopsies, I made a mistake. So I'm going to fix that. And it actually goes like this. So lines like this. Okay. So then I just follow the lines I made. Okay. And a bit more. And for everyone just tuning in today, welcome. It's great to have you here today. We are doing ice cream sundaes on this rainy Sunday. Arlen's just showing us how to do a delicious waffle cone. We're into the ice cream part of it, the chocolate and vanilla swirl. And, and yes. up next is Madeline showing us how to do hard serve ice cream. Okay, and I do the same thing, just like that. And for the... For the last bit of it, we are just going to connect it, go like that, connect it, go like that, connect it, just like that. Take our other broom, connect it, go like that, connect it, go like that, take our other broom, because there's a bit too much of the other. And I'm just going to keep That's really nice keep blending, doing I like it. that. I like that, Arlen. Mm -hmm. Keep doing I it. I wish I could go get a soft serve ice cream. <laughs> And until you like what you've done, then I like what I've done, so I'm going to keep it. Put our brown back. And all we got to do now is the cone. So the cone is actually a bit more trickier than the ice cream. It looks easier. I'm sorry to say, not trying to um, like make you feel bad, but you're wrong. <laughs> So well, it's actually harder. And, it's and, harder, yes. You know, images can be deceiving. So, so bring us into the multiple layers of the cone, Arlen. There's, to make it look 3D like this one, to make the indents of it, all you got to do is add those black lines, but also make it yellower and orangey on some parts. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. Okay. So we're just going to do it like a regular cone you would do. So you're doing kind of like a cross-stitch kind of weave pattern here. Yeah, and, it, and you know what? It's a waffle cone, so it isn't always completely straight. You know what? For any cone, that it's true, because, like, it's always round against it. It's a, it's a cone, so it's round. I make it square when I was little, but you know what? That's okay. I'm just going to keep doing that. until you got the shape of it. You can always erase, so don't worry. And then the same for the other. Okay.
separate parts. Mm -hmm. That's why we have those lines okay. that go diagonal. Okay. Okay. So I think that's good. Okay. Great. And what we're going to do is actually keep keep only the light brown. Only. Until I say so, you can get the brown. So what we're going to do, take our light brown and... I'm not saying, like, put it as hard as you can against the paper. Just medium. Not, like, the hardest, not the lightest, because lightest is, like, you Maybe can very... Firm? Firmly? Yeah, because you can't really see it. It's not much of, like, a consistency that you really want, so... I'm just going to go... Confidently. Go Confidently. Over those lines. Stroke those lines. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing confident strokes... Different okay. strokes for different folks. And, and for those who are with us still, after our uh, technical follies, uh, let's, let's see some pictures of your ice cream cones as, as they develop. Definitely. Give us the scoop. <laughs> okay. And I think that's about good. Okay. For tracing it. Okay, so we should have something that looks roughly like this now with nice cross-hatched patterns in the waffle cone. And what do we do next to get that really nice texture out? Okay, so we're going to take our... I actually use this color so much that it's actually wearing down a lot. You think I wouldn't use it, but I draw a lot of airplanes with gates and I use this color for the numbers. Okay, what and color is it? Yeah. It's like a light yellow? Do you need it to be sharp in our one? Uh, sure. You want me to run and sharpen it? Why don't you tell them what, what you use it for in the airplane? I use it for the gate numbers. If I can find my West Jet plane that I told you about, I actually did the same pencil crane, and I use it for my my food drawings, like my cheese on my burgers. That I, I haven't showed you that, but just so many things that I haven't shown on camera. But every time... Should I sharpen this? Oh, sure. Alright, so we have a newly sharpened yellow pencil crayon. I use an electric sharpener because it's so tedious when you just sharpen it and then the the tip of it just breaks. Oh, I hate that. That's true. So that's why I got an electric sharpener. He got it from, um, for a gift. Yeah. And now... Maybe next time we'll install it in here. Because right now it's a semi-manual sharpener because I have and, to run to it. And now we did it lighter, so now we're going to press harder. And you can see more of the color. If you have the same pencil crayon set, you'll you'll be able to do the same. But not going to happen, not very likely to happen if you don't have the same pencil crayons. So they won't be able to do this drawing if they don't have the same pencil no, crayons? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying oh. when you... If, okay. when I sharpen it, I get a lighter tint okay. with the same pencil yeah. crayon. Just well, so. if you guys are serious and are going to follow us every week, then you're going to have to invest into some serious pencil crayons. <laughs> and in case you're wondering what the pencil crayons look like, um, maybe we can get a sponsorship from them, discounted materials. They're called Faber-Castell. Uh, they are expensive. They're about $35, but they're, they're really good pencil crayons. My mom crayons. got them. Okay, so I think that's good for the yellow. Did it say inter interrupting? And then what we do is on each um okay, on like each square we're just gonna do this. Okay, it's it's back. Okay. Whew. And having a bad day Stop. for technology. I think the internet is kinda of funky for people, mm -hmm. including us. Yeah. So just put it against the It's a the rainy top. day. If people are streaming movies and games, and you know what I mean? Everyone's inside. Hope everyone got outside yesterday. It was a beautiful day. Oh my day. god, yes. I wear shorts and ugh. But yes. also stay away from people. Yeah. Go outside, but stay away. This can be hard to achieve. We didn't go outside. We, we, we were distancing. We were doing our technical prep for today, which really didn't pay off. Okay. Just kidding. We went outside. Of course we did. Okay, and just keep doing that until you're at the very last one. Sometimes it's very tedious to do these things, and yes. 
So that's really all you want to do. And you, you know what? Some can be bigger than the others because it's going into perspective. I love doing perspective. It looks more realistic. Some are bigger here because it like goes more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. So that's what I do. And then what we really do is just kind of color in these with the light brown. Color in them. Really lightly. I'm not saying darkly. Lightly like this. Because then if you color dark, not the same as light, so you need to color them lightly. I'm not saying that you can't. really looks like a cone, though, mm -hmm. a sugar cone. Looks really good. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm just saying if you want it to look real. You're saying you're, they're gonna regret it if they do. I'm not saying they'll reg oh, okay. regret it, but it's just if you want to make it look a little better. Just saying. You want to do your best. I'm trying to do my best right now. Okay, so I think that's about good. All we need to add is some lighter yellow, like really light yellow, and just go over a tint of each one, each row. Not over top of it, each row, so just like that. And if you need to color in some more stuff, that's fine. I always need to do some stuff after. And we're actually going to take our light brown this time and actually make it go dark so we can have that kind of curve to look like it's the waffle cone. Cool. Some black to make the shadow under it. Do that for each one. So, yeah. And keep on doing that until you're done and then after that step you're done and you know what that's okay mine's a little bigger than the previous drawing maybe like you want it bigger so you can totally do it bigger you want it smaller do it smaller okay and a big welcome to sean orange who just tuned in on this rainy sunday welcome sean we're drawing ice cream sundays on sunday and Ireland's just finishing up his waffle cone yes and up next, we have Madeline, who's going to be showing us delicious hard serve ice cream with a cherry on top. Just doing that until you got what you want. Yeah. And maybe go a little darker on some. I went lighter on the ones that stick out more because you don't want too much shadow or else it's just Wow, gonna... there is a lot of layers to making a waffle cone. Yes. It's not just one big... Just scramble so it. Wham like, bam, thank you, ice cream man. <laughs> it's a lot of colors okay. to make it like actual, like realistic kind of. Subtle details. Really subtle. Okay, and you put away your pencil crayons. You never want to leave a mess for mom to clean up. <laughs> Very good. So, well trained. Clean I'm going to put go. them back. And. Please don't copy me. I like doing my signature. <laughs> okay, and go. you're done. Beautiful. Wow. Fantastic, well Ireland. Excellent. So show us your before and your after. Your... Before. Okay. It's oh. a little smaller. After. Very nice. Well done, Ireland. Okay. Excellent. So that is how to do an ice cream sundae on a sundae. Now, mm -hmm. up next, we have Madeline, who's going to show us how to do a hard serve ice cream cone. While we're getting ready for Madeline, let us know how your ice cream cone went. We'd love to see pictures. Please post them in the comments. And if you're a little curious how to post them in the comments, Facebook has a pretty terrible interface. You have to go to the latest artist, to the event for today, and then to the discussion section. And you can post pictures and comments in there. It's a little obtuse, but that's how it works. And here we have Artiste Madeleine. And she's going to show us what, Madeleine? What are you doing um, today? How to do a wonderful Sunday. A, a waffle cone? Yeah. Can you show it to us so we can see it? 
And it has colorful sprinkles on it. Very nice. All right, so this is what we're doing today, a beautiful waffle cone with sprinkles. And what do we need, Madeline, to do this? Um, we need, um, we're going to use some of these pencil cones. Okay, so the same pencil cones. Um, so we're going to need... So what colors do we need? So we're going to need a nice peach. Okay. Like this. Okay. And what is the peach for? The peach is for the cone. Alright. And we're going to need a nice bright red like this. Okay. And a nice bright green like this. Okay. And green is for the sprinkles? It's for the sprinkles and the cherry. Okay. And the red is for the cherry. And we're also going to need a nice bright blue. Okay. And a nice purple. A nice pink. A nice purple like this and a nice like half pink. Okay. Half purple, half pink. Okay. So we have all our colors now? No. Nope. Are you gonna use some pastels as well? Yeah. Okay. And um, we're gonna need some yellow. Okay. And some orange. That's okay. all we're gonna need. All right. So we have quite a melange of colors. And the pastels we're gonna use last. Okay. So first, you're going to get a pencil. You need a pencil also. Mm -hmm. So then draw like. An upside down triangle. Okay. Like that. Okay. Looks like it should be a pretty fat triangle, huh? Oh, I made a mistake. That's way too fast. Okay. We'll turn over our paper if we're not happy, and we'll start again. So a little bit okay, less fat so in the triangle. Yeah. Because I made I draw terrible triangles. Not terrible, but I don't really like. The triangle so that was too fast. Okay, so like a nice triangle like that. Okay. And then after, draw like a big bump like that. You can see a bit more. A big bump like that. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. after, draw lines. Lines. From the bottom on the cone to that side. And then after, draw a line coming from that side. Okay. And do we want our lines to be outside of the cone like that? Or are we trying to draw them really carefully? What's our technique there? I'm trying to draw them really carefully, not upside. Okay. And you know how ice cream cones have, like, those lines there? Uh -huh. Well, that's what these things are. Okay. And then after, um, draw a circle. Okay. A line. And the leaf. I don't know why I draw leaves like that. I believe Juan Carlos just jumped yeah, in the stream. Well. How are you doing? I hope everything is well for you. And then after... Welcome Juan Carlos. We're doing ice cream sundaes on a rainy Sunday afternoon. And your inspiration is always with us in the art studio here. Those are your paintings from a long time ago. Okay, so after that, get your um, peach. And just color it really carefully, the cone, and try not to let the lines just... But after, we're going to use some black and don't mind the lines. But try to be able to see the lines that we just done. The pattern. I'll just call it pattern. The pattern that we just done. Just cover it, color it in really carefully. And if you're doing this with marker, my best decision is you do the lines with pencil and okay. then you cover it up with marker because you can still see pencil a little bit mm -hmm. if you cover it up with marker. So okay. if you're using it with marker, just do that. And then after you did that, just color it in a little more. After you did that, um, get 
put your nice bright red and color it in. Okay, we're doing the cherry now? Yep, we're doing the cherry. I think that should be a little more picture. I'll make it in. Just color it in really nicely. And then after that, get your nice bright green and color in that little leaf. Cherries don't actually, some cherries have leaves, but I just like doing leaves for cherries. Okay, that's done at the top there. Mm-hmm. And then after that, get your nice bright blue and just draw like lines like that. Okay, these are the sprinkles on our vanilla ice cream. Just draw enough so you can see them all. And then take your purple and do... Then take your light, nice pink, purple and pink, and do that. So then it looks like they're just those colors. So then use the green, do the green one, do red one. And do you have, you know, any suggestions for how to do it, or is it just kind of random? You just you do lines like that. Okay, kind of quick lines. And then get your orange, just go like that. And then you're done that, but there's one more thing. I think my peach is not so, I'm actually going to take a color to make it more peachier. Okay. We're more peachy king. <laughs> We're digging into our bag of crayons here. The travel kit. Yeah, we bring this on vacations. We did bring them on vacations. Yeah, when we used to do vacations. I don't think they'll be going anywhere anytime soon. We were going to go to Italy. Sadly, we're supposed to be in Italy right now, in fact. Yeah, our flight was a few days ago, but we can't go to Italy. So you have an orange crayon that you put over the kind of red to make it more peachy? Yeah. Okay. I thought that would be peach enough, but... I think this is makes it more okay, that's good. I think it looks like a good comb. Yeah. And then after that, get a black. I didn't tell you guys to, but get a black mm -hmm. and just outline those. Okay. So you're outlining each line of the waffle gun? And just do this side first. And then you can do the other part. Just outline it. For everyone following along, please do share your pictures with us, mm -hmm. uh, either during the lesson or when you're when you're wrapped up on your end. We'd love to see how everything's going for you guys. Definitely. And again, if you need a little help, it's very confusing to share pictures. You have to go to the Latest Artist Facebook page, find the most recent event, which is today's event, April 19th. Go into the Discussion tab, which is on the right side. And then you can find my poster picture there. But we'd love to see it. Yeah. The other way, place they can, you can, if you're watching the video in full screen, there's comments running on the side for the video. You can put your picture in there, too. I'm just not sure what happens to the picture after the video is done. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. And are you done, Marla? Um, no. Um, after there, just... You don't have to do this, but I always like writing my name. Okay. Right to like show I did it. Okay. But not cool. just that. I just like writing my name. <laughs> there. It's done. And, All right. And the mask. And this is how it's going to turn out. So this was the one I did, and this is the one I did today. Beautiful. Very this one nice. was with pastels, so... All of this was with pastels, except that was with a crayon. So, okay. this and this. Very good. And there you have it. Kids, teaching kids how to do ice cream sundaes. Well done, Madeline. Excellent job. And... Yay! And for everyone listening and watching, congratulations on your ice cream cones. We'd love to see them, so make sure to post them in the comments.
And as a final wrap up, here's what we covered today. We did soft serve and hard serve ice cream cone. Okay. Okay. And there you yeah. go. Yeah. All right. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll be back soon. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll be back in the in the week, most likely on Wednesday. So stay tuned to the latest artist Facebook page. Yeah. That's where we post the new event a day or two before we. Uh, Commit. All okay. right. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Bye, kids. Bye bye.